All right, Shola Wong. This is Harold One by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Kaul Halayim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Harakah Kodash Ma'amal. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and their elders. Shalom to Akim, Nagwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Yeah, man, it's a it's a lot. Um, elder Pastor Har titled this year the year hopeful year of Jacob's trouble man and it seems like um you know um we might be on the cusp of that situation because you got Russian bombers all right Russian bombers uh nuclear submarines pulling into Havana um shit now actually right at the, this moment as we speak and they should be there um June 12th all right, the warships will be in Havana from June 12th to June 17th. And then you got um, a major situation happening Monday dealing with the Sa Saudi petrol oil um, uh, deal. All right, I may go into that in a few minutes as well. Uh, but it says the warship will be in Havana from June 12th to to. Uh, June 17th so that's a long time um, for them to be doing military exercises or bolstering because you know they Russia just said uh, uh, the other day do not give Ukraine um, weapons with missiles to strike Russia and they did just that they gave Ukraine missiles and Ukraine used those missiles to strike uh, Russia so basically if there was a button to push Ukraine is the finger and the United States France and Britain they're the ones that's controlling that hand all right so it's basically them going to war with Russia whether they say it's a proxy or not but we all know that's in this truth that a lot of prophecies have to come to pass first but they could, as you see they can happen quick they can easily, they can, they can quickly switch over to a digital system. It only probably take a month or so to do it. The, uh, civil war could break out fast before the elections, and then you got Russia at the back doorstep of America, real close to Miami now. And this nucleus, uh, and they're gonna have submarines. They got nuclear submarines, even though. Cuba said they're not going to be have nukes on them, but that's the same type of game America plays. They're not going to have nukes. They're not going to have weapons. But then next thing you know, boom, they pop up. All right. So you got uh, America scrambling their bombers, the uh, B-52 bombers, all up and down the East Coast right now. And Russia said, "Yo, if y'all keep um, giving weapons to our enemies." Well, shit, we can go around the world and just give missiles and uh, nukes to America's enemies and Britain's enemies. So they can give nukes to Iran. They can give nukes to um, uh, Cuba. Nukes, because Cuba's against America still. They still, since uh, Fidel Castro and the, uh, what was that, 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis, where they had nukes, Putin. Putin and them had nukes pointed at America, scared the hell out of I think it was Kennedy. Was it Kennedy? It was 1962. Alright, so um, now they're pulling up to Havana and they're going to be dropping all kind of bombs in the water, man, scaring the shit out of uh, America. Alright, so it says they missiles, the missiles that are on this ship, right? they got on the submarines, they called the caliber missiles. Caliber is another word for sword, I think. All right, like Excalibur, like a sword. So the miss, the the places that are in the striking range of these Excalibur missiles from Russia, from the submarines. Well, from the ship, it could reach all the way up to uh, South Carolina with missiles if they chose to right now. But with the submarines, they can reach all the way up to Dallas, 
to St. Louis, to Chicago, to New York, all the way up to D.C. So that means anywhere is uh, anywhere from the Midwest all the way to the East Coast and the South and the North is under threat right now from Russia with a direct attack under pressure. So what do I think this is? I think it's just a message that Russia is sending and a setting of the chess table. They're like, all right, y'all setting y'all chess pieces up. Let me set mine up. So now they may go around and equip certain countries that are enemies to America. They may go around and set up military bases or uh, position their, uh, their uh, you know, nuclear subs and nuclear uh, capable uh, warships near, uh, close to America, or close to Britain, or close to France, or close to Germany. So this this is what Russia's doing now. The bear, the bear is out of hibernation and the bear is on the move. All right, so these are major prophecies kicking off right now. Let me get a precept. All right, this is, um. it says, Putin sends Russian warships, nuclear submarines to Cuba. What happens next? Cuba claims, Cuba claims none of the ships are carrying nuclear weapons. And we know Cuba is basically uh, Manasseh, one of the tribes of Israel. Is Putin following his threat with action? See, he just made a threat. And that threat that he made was this right here over here in the red quotes. Uh, if they consider it possible to deliver such weapons to the combat zone over in Ukraine, to launch strikes on our territory and create problems for us, why don't we have the right to supply weapons of the same type? Basically saying supply of weapons to uh, America's enemies. Ooh, man. Alright. That's deep, man. So that's what Putin is doing right now. It's not just a military exercise, as they try to say. But we know there's still some prophecies that got to happen first, like the MOTB. The Civil War got to break out. The dollar going to crash. That's what Putin's waiting for as well. He's not even talking about trying to go into Kharkiv. And take that area over there near Ukraine. All right, so they, uh, you know, so what he's trying to do is back, back everybody, all those nations off of his border, and create a zone, a space where his his troops can move around, and they're willing to use nuclear weapons to create that space. Meaning, destroy. They want to destroy all the soldiers that's coming over there from these Germany, France, Britain, and America. America talking about sending almost 300,000 soldiers. <clears throat> That's a whole army. All right. Um, Ezekiel 38 and um, 7. We know Ezekiel 38, Gog and Mad Gog. It's talking about Russia. All right. And those Eurasian countries around Russia, which is called the Soviet Union or the USSR at one point. <coughs> So Ezekiel 38 um, and 7 it says be thou a guard unto them alright and prepare for thyself thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee and be thou a guard unto them so Russia is helping to prepare these countries that are allies with, with Russia and China they're preparing themselves for World War Three, for war, for war with America. So right now, Putin's taking action. He's not even making it a threat. He didn't showed up. Pull, they say pull up. Yeah, he pulled up. <laughs> he pulled all the way up. He on the borders of America right now, going up and down the East Coast. We're going down the East Coast with bombers. Uh, what do you call that? Air, uh, uh, Navy ships with caliber missiles or, or submarines always following Navy ships. Anytime you see Navy ships, aircraft carriers, there's always submarines around, which are way more deadly than these aircraft carriers and Navy ships. <coughs> so everything's in place. You know, the table's being set for the destruction of, of this place. Uh, the daughter of Babylon. 
you got economic turmoil, you got civil unrest, possible uh, disease X, <laughs> Fam talks of uh, famine, everything, is, everything that's going according to, to prophecy is on the table right now. So Ezekiel 38 um, and 8. All right. It says, after many days thou shalt be visited. See, the Lord is, is the Lord is uh, dealing with Russia right now. All right, just like when the Romans came against us, what did, what did Josephus say to to the Israelites? The Most High is with the Romans right now. Give up. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> but the Lord loves His people, Israelites. The, you know Israel. The, you know, especially the elect. But the Most High controls nations, man. He raises up one over the other, and right now he's raising up Russia and all Russia's allies, especially like China. All right. So, um, and now we're gonna hear about Cuba again. Ezekiel thirty-eight and eight. After many days, thou shalt be visited. In the latter years. Thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword, man. So they're gonna go up to the land of Israel, and they're gonna go up to the uh, the land of America. So they're coming against America, and they're gonna come against the land of Israel. Both of those are gonna be destroyed, according to the scriptures. All right. Um, it was a brought back from the sword, and is gathered out of many people. All right, so Israel is the one that's going to be gathered out of many people. So now we uh, we're over here. The the main deliverance is going to happen here in America. All right. So that when they come up against this place, Putin's also coming against the children of Israel over here. It's, it's going to be to to destroy two thirds. All right, whether knowingly or unknowingly, he knows Jake's over here, but the scriptures say he's not going to spare none. Their bowls shall dash the young men to pieces. They're not going to spare anybody. All right, so they're going to come against this place with the children of Israel still in America. They're not going to say, hey, evacuate. <laughs> uh and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel which have been always waste but is brought forth out of the land so like, so like it's brought forth out of the nation see Israel is going to be brought forth out of the nations we were scattered and even though our land was destroyed and it was rebuilt right America was a desert and they built upon it um and what the children of Israel are here so we're the ones that's going to be brought forth from amongst all the nations <clears throat> all right so when he come up against America he's also coming up against the spiritually coming against two-thirds whether Putin knows it or not all right um which have been always waste but it is brought forth out of the nations man and they shall dwell safely all of them man you see that so you got heathens in our land dwelling safely today. You got Jake over here and their wickedness dwelling safely in America, all the, the United States. Right? It says, um, in which all those states in America, 50 states, are strategic targets for Russia. It says, verse 9, Thou shalt ascend. Where is that? Yep, yeah, yeah. that's what I want. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. Thou and all thy bands and many people with thee, man. So when it, that's Armageddon. When Russia goes against Israel and then they come up against America, they're showing um, some of the options they could take. They can go over there. They're gonna have stuff set up in Cuba. They're gonna come through Canada. Right, over in the so-called Middle East, they can give uh, missiles to and uh, Syria and even Iran, North Korea. So, um, 
But nu uh, North Korea already got missiles. So now he got a point. After this one, it says, Thus saith Yahweh the power, it shall come to pass that at that same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. See, we see we're seeing an inclination of that evil thought. Look look what he he thinking. Look at Putin. If they consider it possible to deliver such we weapons to the combat zone to launch strikes on our territory and create problems for us, why don't we have the right to supply weapons of the same type? That's his evil thought, man. That's, that's part of it. All right? But at, at, one, at some point, it's not going to be bolstering. It's not going to be messaging, you know, threats. <clears throat> it's going to be a straight... Uh, attack full on attack but the most high the scriptures say um, uh, it, uh, Putin or um, Russia which is also called the Medes in the Bible his device is going to be to destroy Babylon that's going to be his imagination his plan and his mind to destroy it right now his intent is not to destroy it his intent is not to destroy Kharkiv his, his intent is not to destroy Ukraine. He want to take Ukraine. All right. He want to take that place and rebuild it. But they trying to get him to destroy it. All right. So everything, the whole table's being set, man. Now all we got to see now is the uh, the dollar crash. All right. And all hell break loose. They got the elections coming up. That goes with Revelation 13, two horns between the Democratic and Republican Party. Then the MLTB, they're going to be switched to a digital system. So all these things are on the table right now, man. It's going to change so quick. And now, yeah, all the choices people making. People claim to be in the truth, then they fall out, and then next thing you know, boom, nuclear sub shows up. Let's <laughs> say, like, oh shit. Damn, man. Alright, so we had to, uh, yeah, I'll leave that topic alone right now. But, um, yeah, it's the wrong time to be turning back, man. It's the wrong time to. The, uh, betraying the most high this is the wrong time to fall into wickedness and, and you damn sure don't want to burn a bridge that you can't walk back over with the Lord alright so um, yeah man let's keep going and thou shalt this is what he's going to think an evil thought thou shalt think an evil thought so he's starting to come into that Mindset, like, all right, I'm gonna go up to their their, their damn borders. They want to come to ours. Let's go to their borders now. Let's go up to Israel too. Right, so we're gonna see that soon, eventually, and go up to the borders of of, of America as well. All right. So this weekend, right now, as we speak, there's bombers, there's navy ships, nuclear subs, everything's at the door of America. And they and Russia could be supplying Cuba with missiles, even though they're claiming not to, which I believe they are. Ain't no more close to the doorstep than this. Look where they at. Sheesh. That's right there. Hello. Is it somebody said you were looking for me? Here I go. <laughs> Verse 11, it says, And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages, man. So Putin's coming up to the land, up to America, man. America dwelling in safety and peace, and from all the, uh, his enemies around the world, they getting sabotaged from the inside and all that. But America's trying to do uh, coveting an evil covetousness to his house, man. All right, so that they can keep that their uh, their greatness, as Putin say, America trying to keep his greatness. That's why it's called Babylon the Great. Great in wickedness, great in resources, great in power, but that power is 
being stripped away from America like the Black Panther. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. That's America. United States of America. Which their de missile defenses cannot stop Russia's uh, missiles. I will go to them that are at rest, man. That dwell safely. Look, it, look at that places on here. Dallas. St. Louis. Chicago. New York. Washington, D.C. There's a lot of crime in those states. But they, they're dwelling safety, safely because of no threats from other countries. Whew, not anymore. Now that threat is here. All right, they don't feel people not gonna feel so safe anymore. What? Um, all of them dwelling safely. All of them dwelling without walls, man. A lot of them don't even have missile defenses and protection, and having neither bars nor gates, man. All right. It says what to take a spoil. So eventually, right now, he's not coming to take a spoil. Or to, to destroy this place. But eventually Russia will. It's going to be a live action. And they, they're going to be looking to destroy this place. Right now Russia is looking to bring peace. He's looking for a, a long term strategy. Not a short term quick fix. He's not trying to gamble. He sees what the uh, Biden administration is up to. And the globalists over there in Europe. What they call the West. Right now you got the West versus the East. Kings of the East. It's all right there, man, from the scriptures. But you got a lot of people that still don't see it. Because the Lord had blinded, blinded them. Right? So they're going to show up at some point, And it's going to be not to make drills or not to only scare America, Americans or the leaders of America. I'll say the West. But at some point, it's going to be to destroy this place. All right? They're going to sweep it with the besom of destruction. Um, the Lord said he's going to what? I'm going to get that too, probably. It says, to take a spoil, to take a prey, to turn thy hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited. And in places like America, it's really a desert. But it, it's inhabited right now. All of them dwelling without walls, man. All the places, the states that don't really have the protection. And Russia, like, I can destroy y'all. You can destroy this place. But they, but they threatening Russia. All of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. So like, to take a spoil and to take a prey, to turn thy hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited, and upon the people. That are gathered out of the nations, talking about Israelites that are, uh, that are here, which have gotten cattle and goods, came over here and got rich, became Democrats, became Republicans. That's Jake. Came over here in slavery. Now they over here uh, drunk off of the wine as well and the dainties. All these celebrities, right? Having, this is a. Uh, that dwell in the midst of the land, right? They think the world revolves around them, around Americans. All right? That that dwell in the midst of this place, deep in the heart of this place too, with their mind. Russia like, yo, they the ones gonna get destroyed. That's what he going for. The ones that um, are on the side of these globalists. The ones that are on the side of these Satanists and people, the Biden administration and such. All right. All right. So it's the Most High sending them over here. Check this out. This is Jeremiah uh, fifty-one and one. Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them. Just like I just said, those that dwell in the midst of the land, all the citizens of America, especially Israelites that are dwelling here. All right, two thirds. That dwell in the midst of the land of them that rise up against me. See, the ones that rise up against the Most High, they're being exposed. They're the same ones that Putin <laughs> is against. The, the sodomy, the, the betrayal, the devil worship. It's crazy, you know? It's spiritual. 
they should dwell in the midst, those that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. So that's the nuclear destruction. The Most High has created the waster to destroy, and he's handed it into, uh, put it into the hands of the, the smiter. All right. Of the slayer. So the Lord created these weapons through the hearts of men and uh, put it into the hands of the slayer. And that's Russia. Verse 2. And will, and I will send unto Babylon fanners. So the Lord is sending fanners unto Babylon. Let's see what that is. So it ain't going to just be Russia at some point. Russia is also equipping these smaller proxy countries like Cuba. Let the weak say I'm strong. All right. Beat your plowshares into pruning, uh, your, your, uh, pruning hooks into swords, <laughs> into missiles. So the word fanners, the Lord is sending fanners to Babylon. It means strangers, someone to turn you aside, meaning like somebody that's against you now. To be a foreigner, stranger, to com uh, wait, profane. It says an enemy. To become estranged, man. And that's what Russia and America are doing. They became, they're becoming enemies now. All right. When they were just cool, with each, allegedly cool with each other. Uh, World War One, going into World War Two, and after that, when Russia got nukes, that's when America was like, all right, we got it. We got in Europe. They set up deterrence against Russia, and they want to be the big wigs, uh, the West. But they set up deterrence against Russia, and they declared Japan and Russia as uh, enemies, and they established what you call NATO. But NATO can't exist without an enemy. It's a beast. It's an immoral uh, agency that was established through Satanism from the left-hand side out there in Europe. But a uh, North Atlantic Treaty Organization cannot exist without an enemy. So they created an enemy with Russia. Start pushing at the doorstep, poking the bear, standing outside the cave. Come out here, bear. We'll fuck you up. Now the bear come out swinging. You know, I'm scared the shit out of everybody. So, um, the Lord has raised up fanners, which also means foreign nations or enemies. It's deep, man. To be one that's alienated. All right, so the Lord is raising up enemies that shall fan her. See that? So the Lord is sending these nations against this place because it's that time. They should what? They're going to what? Def defuse this place. They're going to winnow it. That means scatter it, shake it up, do the winnowing for the Most High. With those winds, those destructive winds, that goes into that winnowing tool like I was reading about with the harvest just you know you have one the sickle to cut off that's what the lord got in his hand and then you got the winnowing tool to scatter them and separate the chaff from the grain so the elect are going to be separated through the destruction just like the elect are separated through the spirit two-thirds are going to be separated through the destruction and scattered man all right, so scattered like chaff that blows away with the wind, get destroyed. All right, so um, so they're going. The Lord is raising up nations, enemies that are coming up to the borders and threatening America now to put this place in fear. All right, to shake it up. Sheesh. All right. So now, and I will send unto Babylon fanners, enemies that shall scatter this place. Throw it, you know, throw it down, man. And shall empty her land, man. So this place is going to be empty, like a like lava pit. Going to melt all the flesh off of the damn land. That way said to take a spoil, meaning what? To, to take lives. In this sense, Russia ain't trying to get no. It's a gold and silver. They're not going to regard it. 
they coming to take some damn lives, man, and take revenge. That's the spoil they want. He says, what? They're, they're going to empty this land. Right now, they're not aiming to do that. They're just trying to defend theirs. But at some point, because their trust is broken, they trusted America to be the dominant big brother watching over everybody. Great nation. That's why they all invested in the dollar, the Brent Woods, the Brent Woods Agreement, 1944. <sighs> then you had the Nixon shock, petrodollar, and now they was all drunken off that wine and, and boasting and thinking America was great and they was trusting it to be all that it can be, right? Trusting it to become that. Well, it became that. Then it, be, it became a... Um, uh, a bully the hammer of the earth crushing whatever nation is under it and Russia like yo we ain't about to be under y'all so uh, so the Lord is sending enemies to this place now he said set yourselves against Babylon round about wait till they see that happen alright um See, it says, and they shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. I just said that. So that's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for America's demise. They're waiting for the dollar or, uh, or the petrol dollar to be done with. That's what Russia said. Russia said it. They're like, why attack America when they could just sit back or even influence the fall of this place and its economy and currency? While they while they jump ship, and they move towards their own currencies and their own system digital, and their own allies with the BRICS. So they doing that, and then when all hell break loose and the lights go out in this place, boom. They just waiting. Against all right, so. And when the day of trouble comes, they're going to be right there waiting. And then they're going to just destroy this place, man. Civil war, it's a lot happening in America for them to be so proud. Alright, so in the day of trouble, they shall be against her roundabout. So look at that. Russia's against this place. And they're going to be, but the allies are going to be against this place too. Alright, um, so with that I'm going to end it there, man, and say uh, Shalom.